today's episode, I'm building an outdoor vegetable washing stand with an outdoor sink. Wendy's been asking it for it for a while, and we're going to put it right on our back patio, uh, just outside the door to my shop. Um, I like building these kind of projects. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. The size and shape of the station is determined on two factors. Where we're putting it, because we want to maximize the uh, utility of the working space to uh, work with the vegetables, and also the size of the sink that we happen to find. Uh, we went to uh, Habitat for Humanity Restore and uh, found this really nice uh, stainless steel sink for just 35 bucks. Uh, it would have cost a lot more than that uh, if we had bought it new. Uh, great place to find great deals. Um, standard height for the uh, countertops, about 36 inches. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's how we're gonna build this project. I like building these larger projects underneath our carport. I've got plenty of room and it's a flat space. Plus the roof keeps out the rain or uh, sun if it's a hot day. Um, this uh, vegetable stand is gonna be eight feet long, which is convenient since I didn't have to do any cuts at all on the long pieces. And I'm spacing my interior pieces exactly 30 inches apart. So let's get to it.
would be nice to have two cordless drills to work with for pilot holes and screwing in the screws. Um, but you work with what you've got. So I'm tethered to the uh, drill with the uh, extension cord. Um, another thing I really like to use is uh, um, clamps uh, for accuracy and in the absence of having a second pair of hands to hold something in place while I'm um, putting, it, putting it in with the screws.
Alright, so this next part is uh, just kind of fine tuning the, the surface of the 2x4s and these 4x4s. I was trying to keep it as flush as possible when I was building it upside down. Um, but there's always a little bit of uh, warp and uh, minor imperfections to deal with. So I'm going to just kind of feather out the, uh, the surface with a, with a big sander and uh, then hopefully it'll be a nicer, nicer surface to work on. Okay, so the next step is putting on the hardware cloth. We'll do this because you can spray off the vegetables and all the water and junk will just fall straight through.
Wendy wanted a uh, rim around the uh, the uh, countertop area for her vegetables so they wouldn't roll off. So I'm just going to sandwich the uh, hardware cloth between the 2x4 and some 2x2s.
it's probably a little overkill, the number of screws I'm putting in the top here. But uh, screws are pretty cheap. And making the holes and screwing them in is absolutely free. Um, so no harm done. Um, I'm not sure if you can see what I'm doing back here, but I've got the excess hardware cloth that I've folded over on the back and I'm cinching that to the back of the stand with washers and some very short screws. wants a rack on the back of the vegetable cleaning station that we can use to hang uh, our killing cone for chickens and uh, a couple little hooks for uh, assisting in the uh, killing of a rabbit. So, so I'm going to put that on the back and then, then we'll be about ready to uh, put the sink into the into the stand and we'll be basically done at that point getting close it's always a little more involved these projects than you think going in
So normally this will be against the wall, so it's gonna these are gonna be in the way. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do. Either for routine storage, we may just uh, flip it around like that so it can sit a little bit closer to the wall. Or if these are just in her way when she's using the, the cleaning station, then we'll just put this maybe in the barn shed or somewhere else around where it's uh, where we can find it again when we need it. buckets to catch catch the drain water. Uh -huh. 